Welcome back to the Rev and Evan channel. I got to thank everybody out there. We just hit 50,000 subscribers on the channel. We've been trying to reach that mark for a long time and we owe you guys a ton because you guys made it happen for us. Now, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button. As you can see, we're back up here in Michigan with my man, Brian Wolf. We got a Godzilla on the dyno, but Brian, we got something different today. We absolutely do, but again, back to the 50,000 subscribers. I think that one of the major reasons is the wide variety of content you cover, right? So it's not just Godzilla, it's not just Coyote, it's not just old cars. It's all that combination that's super exciting to see. But yeah, speaking of kind of some of the old stuff, that's what we've got. We've got a Godzilla with an 850 Brawler carburetor that I was fortunate enough that Chris Holbert loaned me because I told him we're going to run the carburetor and I asked him which one to run and he kind of looked at me funny knowing I've only run Godzilla's. Right. He said, well, how long are you going to use the carburetor for? I said, probably just one time. So he loaned me his dyno carburetor. So thanks to Chris for letting us do that. So that's what we have. We have the Indy Power products intake that's been out for quite a while and we've run that with fuel injection up to this point. Yep. But a lot of people said, hey, I want to run a carburetor. And the big tie up in that was, well, how we control spark and the rest of the engine to, to make that happen at you know kind of a reasonable price, right? You could always buy an EFI system and unplug the injectors and make that work. Right. But that's not real practical. So our good friends at OBR Control Systems, I've uh, been talking to them and they came up with an ignition controller that uh, will be coming to market later in 2024. So we're super excited about that. And so basically what we did today was run that surrogate and it ran very, very well. But what we didn't do is take all the time to tune the carburetor because that takes a lot of expertise to get the balance right from bank to bank right. and the rest of it. But what we did do is prove the concept. Everything seems to work pretty flawlessly and we're super excited about it. So uh, I think we're going to take the folks through some, uh, some uh, video with the power runs and idling and, uh, and then also we'll throw the EFI back on and you'll know, see what that looks like. Yeah, we're going to take a throttle body, put it back up on top. We'll show you what's involved making the switch over. It's going to be a pretty fun day on the dyno. Brian, does that make this thing now Carbzilla? I think it is Carbzilla. You got it. We have our Indy Power Products intake, and we're going to be doing our carburetor and uh, EFI uh, demonstration on this engine. Now, in all fairness to the carburetor, we're not going to be doing the typical, you know, stagger the jets, worry about, you know, spacer plates and how to get the most power out of the carburetor. We may do that at a later episode. Today's focus is, hey, we have a carburetor, we have an ignition system that works with the carburetor, and that it all works well together and share some of the trials and tribulations you'll have if you just take the carburetor out of the box, throw it on, what happens to air fuel distribution, what happens bank to bank. We'll see a little bit of that and why it's important when you take a carburetor and you have to do a little bit of work to get that distribution right, which is a lot easier to do with fuel injection because all you're flowing through the intake is air, not air and fuel. 
Testo North America is the world's largest manufacturer of handheld test and measurement instrumentation and software for HVAC, food safety, pharma compliance, and combustion analysis. And you can check out Testo at testo.com. So Brian, pretty basic procedure for removing the carb, right? Fuel lines, drain the fuel bowls. Yep. As a matter of fact, it had fuel in it when I got it. I may, you know, so I may give it to Chris back with fuel in it. <laughs> Okay, the other thing we have to do is this is a uh, carburetor pressure regulator, so I put the EFI back on so we can get back up to the, those pressures. This will, you know, set the fuel pressure on this carburetor. We set it at six pounds uh, going to the bowls. And obviously with the fuel injection, we're going to be up near uh, 60 pounds of fuel pressure. So we have a different pressure regulator for that. All right, Brian, what do we got? Yeah, we just have a classic four barrel throttle body. So no fuel, only air. Left. Just plug in the uh, injectors. Yes, sir. Now we're just hooking up the complete OBR and getting the fuel injection to fuel inject. What injectors are you running? These are GT500 injectors in this engine. This is an engine we're going to be doing some camshaft development with. We've got our Brian Tooley Racing uh, Truck Norris cam in here right now. We're looking at some different uh, lifters as well as different cams. So. That's always fun stuff. All right, so you know we're here talking about how to make this carbureted Godzilla work. And I'm here with Oli from OBR Control Systems. And as everyone knows, uh, Oli makes that really nice plug and play system for the Godzilla using all the factory sensors and components, super high quality wiring harness that people have uh, used across many. I've sold, you know, over 60 or units myself and they work fantastic. But we were talking about another thing that people are looking for in the field and that is the wonder on a carburetor. So Oli and I talked and said, hey, is there a way to do an ignition only controller? So this is what Oli has uh, come up with. Um, he, this is a device that is going to be available while he's still working out some of the details only to make this, you know, affordable. Um, because again, you know, we know that a high value is what folks are looking for. So Oli, um, why don't you talk a little bit about the, what the capability could be, and then there may be a thrifted version, you know, to hit a really attractive price point. But why don't you talk about everything that the device will be able to control? Sure. So we came up with a new ECU uh, that is made specifically for uh, this kind of project. And uh, we built a prototype harness uh, according to our diagrams based on our normal um, Godzilla engine harness. We just removed everything uh, that had to do with in injection, but with this first level up for our prototype testing, we included everything uh, for the standard features of the engine. So we uh, have cam and crank sensors, we have the eight coils, and uh, the first system here was intended also to do, uh, to monitor the oil pressure, uh, to do the oil pressure control, and to do the, uh, the cam timing uh, as well, uh, even though you run with a carburetor. Yes, so yeah, that's, that, that's you know, pretty cool. So, you know, this has all the same features uh, that your uh, more elaborate system has from a control perspective for a Godzilla engine, uh, other than, of course, fuel injectors. Yes. 
So, um, so that, that to me is a, is a big uh, advantage, being able to control the VCT, being able to control the variable displacement oil pump, if, cho if, if chosen uh, to sure. do so. Yep. Um, and then what about things like if, so if you wanted to do a more elaborate um, input device where people may be able to use this, like if I have a race car and I want to do data logging. So, I mean, could I actually hook up and control air fuel, uh, not control, but if I have my carburetor, monitor what my air fuel ratio is. Could I do something like um, a two-step transbrake uh, controller to control a launch RPM? Oh yeah, we already uh, included that uh, because we anticipated that this would be a natural uh, step forward uh, with the system. So we have the two-step limiter, we have uh, input for uh, MyPan Lambda sensors that would help tuning uh, the carburetor. We have um, shift lights in it. We have uh, in, in, there can be several maps in the uh, in, in the ECU that the driver can switch between, or the tuner can set up to suit the um, the kind of fuel that's being used. Great. So you know, in summary, right? Um, Oli's looking at doing one that would be, I would call it a base version that is strictly going to drive the ignition coils, and it's going to read the factory crank position yes and possibly the cam position or maybe not if we do a waste spark to do a very high value simple harness yes and if the demand is out there for all these added features that would maybe be a secondary upgrade that would come down the road yeah you would be able to upgrade it uh, to to run like a uh, full sequential ignition and uh, to run with the other features that the engine has okay for sure Okay, so Oli, you know, um, I know when we first were talking about this, there's a very simple way to control eight coils with minimal input from uh, the engine itself using the stock sensor set. But knowing the capability of your current ECU for the Godzilla, would this be able to do things like adjust uh, ignition timing by cylinder? Yes, it would be possible uh, to, to do that, yes. Well, that would be great because that would be a great tuning aid for the carburetors. Now, the other thing is I buy this. Well, what what am I going to have for a spark advance? Am I stuck to like what you ship it with? Or are you going to ship it with uh, a single calibration? Will it have a selectable to another? And what if I want something custom that's different because I know my application might be a little different. I might want a little bit more spark or, or whatever. Yeah, generally speaking, we would supply this with like uh, two base spark tables that we know works very well with the engine. But depending on the fuel you run and uh, whatever other modification would be done to the engine, we will give the user access to the calibration. So the calibration is no way locked out. You, we can give the user full access. Now, yeah, and that's interesting. But you know, let's say if I, you know, I'm on a little bit of a tighter budget, and we, mm -hmm. I know the calibration interface tool is fantastic because now all of a sudden I have a data logger and all kinds of stuff I can do with it. But let's just say it's a little bit too pricey for me. But I have this eat. I have this spark controller and I need it changed. Do I have an option to change it after I buy it? Can I send it back to you for a recalibration? Oh yeah, that can be done. That's, okay. uh, that's, that's the service we offer uh, with all the kits we supply. Okay, so that's great. So not only are you going to supply it with you know, something if I just want to get it up and going and you know it's going to work with the stock Godzilla yes. and the spark advance that it wants, uh, but if someone does something down the road later, um, they'll be able to have that advantage as well. Sure, absolutely. That, that's uh, that's going to be really work out very well. So another thing probably on everybody's mind, right, is, you know, for we, we, we showed this really nice wiring harness that has an enormous amount of features to it. But yes. again, if I'm looking at just the base kit, I've got eight coils, I've got an interface with the stock um, crank position sensor and control those eight coils. Where are you guys targeting to get to on a price for uh, retail for folks? Oh, such a uh, simple installation uh, with an ECU and um, part of a buying harness, our target price is the $700 mark. Great. And um, that's going to be, you know, I think uh, a really fantastic price point for those that are just looking for the carburetor, make this thing run, and uh, even enjoy the drive. Yep, I agree with that. <laughs> great. So, okay, well, that's great. All right, well, you know, now what we're going to do, we ran that thing with the carburetor, as we saw earlier, 
And I think we're just going to throw the EFI back on and see how that looks. That would be interesting. stuff with Godzillas. Absolutely. And you know nothing's more fun than playing with Godzillas and again for the best content on the internet if you're a car fan hit that subscribe button bitches. <laughs>